The ability to zip and unzip files right here in your files app is a great new feature of iOS 13 and iPad OS 13. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use zip and unzip here on your iPhone or iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, consider subscribing. In this one, we're back with another iPad OS 13 and iOS 13 feature for your iPhone and your iPad. And that is the ability to compress and uncompress or what's more commonly known as zip and unzip files here on your iPhone or your iPad. Yes, we can do it right here in the files app as part of the new iOS update. So let's jump in and show you how to do it right now. So I'm here in the files app. I'm going to jump into on my iPhone and go into my GarageBand folder. You can do this with any files in any folder once you're here in the files app. Now to compress or to zip up a single file, what I need to do is tap in the top right here to select and then select on the file that I want to actually zip up. So let's select this WAV file here. And then in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see that we have this more options button. And that's what we're going to tap to bring up this menu here where we can copy, but we can also compress. So let's tap on the compress button here and there you go. It's created a zip file called song1.zip and we're ready to use this zip file. Now this is handy because if you wanted to transfer this to someone via email or you wanted to transfer it even to another location including a USB flash drive. Yes we do have USB flash drive support here now in iOS 13 and iPad OS 13 then you can go ahead and do that. It just makes things easier. That is for one file though but what's even better is that we can actually zip up multiple files and put them into one zip file. So let's show you how we do that now. So once again, we will tap on select in the top right corner. Oh, and if you're wondering about this cursor that I'm using, this is the new mouse support we have here in iOS 13 and iPad OS 13. And yes, it is very cool. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do. It's very handy for things exactly like this. So I can show you where I'm tapping. So we're going to tap on, this time, let's just select four different files. So we'll tap these four different WAV files. And then again, we're going to go to the bottom right. Oh, and if you don't know what the others are, we've got a share option here on the left. We've got duplicate copy and trash and then this is our more actions so we're going to tap on more actions here once again we're going to select compress this time it's going to compress all four of those files into one zip file and if we scroll to the bottom and slide down here here it is it's called archive.zip so you can rename that so if you just tap directly on the name there you can give it another name that functionality hasn't changed so if you did want to name it something like wavefiles.zip you can go ahead and do that we'll leave it as it is for now now, you might be asking, how do we actually unzip? Well, yes, it's exactly the same in reverse. Let's tap on select here in the top right corner. We're going to select this zip file now, and we're going to tap in the bottom right here on the more actions. And yes, instead of compress, it knows it's a zip file and it has uncompress. So let's tap on uncompress and see what happens. There you go. It creates a folder and then puts all the files in there. So this is great. It keeps it nice and organized. It doesn't just throw four different files out here into the folder you're unzipping into. It puts it here. And if we tap on that one, we can come in and here are all of those WAV files ready to be used here. And of course, if we wanted to then copy this across, we can come back here. We'll scroll back down there to that folder. And if we wanted to put this in a different location, Again, we tap on select here in the top right. We tap on this one here. And then down the bottom here, we can actually share it to somewhere else completely, or we can copy or move it here. So let's just say we wanted to do that. I'm gonna tap on the copy and move button here. And say I wanted to put this over on my iCloud drive. And I have a specific music folder here. And I'll scroll down here because I've got the sound effects and recordings folder. And there you go. I can hit the copy button and that's going to copy these across. So we'll tap copy now. And there you go. It's copied that archive folder over to that location. And we're good to go. We could now just select. And let's just select and delete this one from here. And we're good to go. Now that is the longer way to extract a zip file. The other thing you can do is it's actually smart enough to know that if I just tap directly on this zip file instead, it's going to extract and put it in a folder like that. So you don't even need to go select, go to the item there and go to your more actions and uncompress. If it's already a zip file, it knows that it's going to unzip it and put it right there in the location. Again, it's handy because it uses that folder so that you can actually organize your files here in the files app. 
Now, this is a feature just in iOS 13 and iPadOS 13, but if you're on a device that doesn't support that, which is anything earlier than an iPhone 6S, an iPad Air 2, an iPad Mini 4, or an iPad Pro, then you might be saying, Pete, how do I zip and unzip? What can I do? Well, I've got another way for you to do that, and I've got a video showing the full process linked up the top there and down in the description. But to give you the quick rundown, what we do is we can select, we select on a file, and then we use the share sheet down the bottom here. So if we tap that one in the bottom left there, and we scroll down, you'll notice here that I've got some shortcuts. Now in iOS 13, they look like this. They'll look a little different in iOS 12 and earlier. And again, check out that video, which will show you exactly how to do zip and unzip. There's just a few additional steps to get it set up. But once you're set up, you'll be zipping and unzipping with the best of them. One final tip before we finish up, and this is specifically for my GarageBand iPhone and GarageBand iPad users, because this is a great way to share our GarageBand Pro. So if you know about GarageBand projects, you'll know that they're in this .band file format. So if you wanted to share this on, say, Google Drive or a USB flash drive or some other non-Apple supported platform, it's not going to work. So what you need to do is zip up. And now that we have zip in integrated here, it's easier than ever. So once again, we tap on select. We'll select our GarageBand.band project by tapping on that one. We'll go to our more actions in the bottom right and we'll hit on compress and boom, there is a zip file of our dot band project ready to go. This can then be copied across using those same methods to a USB drive. We can back up our projects. You can send it to someone via Dropbox or Google Drive or any other platform, and it will be supported because it'll be sitting nicely in that dot zip compressed file. As soon as you've got it back on your iPhone or your iPad, you're ready to unzip. Then all you do is tap on it and boom, there it is. It unzips it right there into that folder ready to be opened in GarageBand. If we tap on that one, it's going to come over here and open GarageBand, load up that track, and we're ready to get into some creation. Now, the one final thing that I'll mention here is make sure that you are in the Files app because when you're in your My Songs area here in GarageBand, it looks deceptively like the Files app. But the problem is, if you come in here, you'll notice that we can't actually do any of these functions. And even if we select and tap on one of these, we don't have the ability to do the compressing. We can only copy from here. So if you want to compress and uncompress, zip and unzip, make sure you're in the Files app. So if we do our, document, our switcher over here and we go back to files, make sure that you're in the files app because then when you select and you tap and you go more actions, you'll have your compress and your zip and unzip ready to go. So there you go, a simple feature, but one that I'm sure you will agree will be super handy for those of us who create a lot of content, have a lot of audio and video and other perhaps unsupported file formats that are here on our iPhones or iPads. We can now compress them, we can zip them up, we can send them and copy them all over the place. And with that USB flash drive support that we have, we can even back up our projects onto a USB flash drive, which is a super handy feature. If you've got other tips or suggestions about iOS 13, or iPad OS, drop those down in the comments. Any other questions can go there too. There's two more videos linked right down below about iOS 13. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon, and I'll see you on the next video.